<laughs> What's the story about, anyway? Well, hmm. I look at the cover of the book. The book is titled Portrait of Marklov. Markov. There's an ominous looking eye symbol on the front cover. Basically, it's about this religious camp that turned into a human experiment prison. Wait, is that us? And the people trapped there have this trade that turns them into killing machines that lust for blood. But the facility gets even worse, and they start selectively breeding people by cutting off their limbs and affixing them to- Oh, that might be a bit of a spoiler. Is this the story? Are we in like- Is this it? Are we in some weird experiment? But anyway, I'm really into it. The book, I mean. Not the thing about the limbs. That's why we don't have parents. That's why there's no other students around. We're actually in like some experiment going on. Maybe. We're like in some like, like asylum being experimented on. That's kind of, it's kind of dark, isn't it? You made it sound like it was going to be a nice story, so the dark turn came from nowhere. Ah! Are you not a fan of that sort of thing, Kilplex? No, it's not that. I mean, I can definitely enjoy those kinds of stories, so don't worry. That was not the story last time, was it? That definitely wasn't the story last time. I mean, I targeted Yuri last time, and that was not the story in the book we were reading. I hope so. Yeah, I totally forgot that Yuri is into those things. She's so silent and recluse on the outside, but her mind seems to be completely different. Guys, I'm not okay. I'm just dreading what's next. I really am. But I want to see the story. I want to know what's going on, but I'm freaking out. It's just this kind of story. It's the kind of the challenges you to look at life from a strange new perspective. When horrible things happen, not because someone who wants to be evil. But because the world is full of horrible people and we're all worthless anyway. And suddenly... Oh, I'm rambling, aren't I? Not again, I'm sorry. Hey, don't apologize. I haven't lost interest or anything. Well, I guess it's alright then. But I feel like I should tell you, let you know that you have this problem. Oh, I'm aware. When I let things like books and writing fill my thoughts, my whole body gets incredibly... I kind of forget to pay attention to other people. So, she gets turned on by violence. That's why she licked my finger when it was bleeding in the last storyline. So she's kind of weird and likes violence. That's why she cuts herself. So I'm sorry if I end up saying something strange, and please stop if I'm, if I'm talking too much. That's... I don't think you need to worry. That's just means you're passionate about a reading. I like how, like, the, 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 the creepy lines are, like, ignored by my main character. Like, why? Is that like some like weird? Is that just to me, to the viewer, to the player? Not actually Kilplex seeing her say this crap. It's a literature club after all. Ah, oh, that's well, that's true. In fact, in fact, I might as well start reading it right. Yes. I can check the history to catch up on the game. Yeah, that's true. Well, I read what she said. Oh, yes. I mean, you didn't have to, but... Uh, what are you saying? Let me just get the book. I quickly retrieved the book that I put into my bag. Alright, it's fine if I sit here. Alright, so this is Monica, like, trying to erase her from the existence now, right? Like, I don't know what that's about. Like the little glitches that happen. Wait, does the background change? Because last time when the bat when it did that, there was a picture on the wall of Sayori hanging herself from the last timeline, which I wasn't okay with. I slip into the seat next to Yuri's. Ah! I'm losing the enthusiasm for the odds, guys. I'm very sorry. Yeah. Pretty sure. You seem a little apprehensive. That's. I'm sorry, it's not that I don't want you to. It's just something I'm never used to. That is reading in company with someone. I see. Well, just tell me when I'm distracting you or anything. Alright. I open the book, start the prologue. I soon understand what Erin means about reading in company. Jinjo is having a heyday. 
can I just tell you? She likes licking me because of the sweat. I'm sweating like crazy and she's licking me like crazy because I'm sweating everywhere. My horror is her paradise. I soon understand what Eerie means about reading in company. It's as if I can feel her presence over my shoulders, I read. It's not particularly a bad thing. So when this romantic setting's gonna hit, even though I targeted Natsuki for the romantic portion of this, it's doing the romantic portion of Yuri for some reason, and I already did this. So something's gonna mess up, freak me out, when we do the romantic portion of this part. Maybe a little distracting, but the feeling is somewhat comforting. Yuri is in the corner of my eye. I realize she's not actually looking at her book. I glance over. It looks like she's reading from my book instead. So sorry, go mad. I was just bathing in the... It doesn't say what she said! What did it say? I was just bathing in the feeling of your body heat. I just re read the tie. I just read my stream. <laughs> With my stream delay, I can actually catch up on what- The history doesn't show what they say, the creepiness. Yuri, you really apologize a lot, don't you? Oh gosh, it's the Goku, Batman, Fat Man, thanks for the follow. By the way, I'm gonna be streaming uh, Dragon Ball Fighter Z beta tomorrow afternoon, because the beta is tomorrow. I do? I don't really mean to. Sorry, I mean I... <laughs> Here, this should work, right? I slid inside my desk up next to Yuri's, and then she holds my book more between the two of them. Ah! I suppose. Yuri timidly closes her own copy. Once we reach the little bit, our shoulders are almost touching. It feels like my left arm is in the way, so instead I use my right hand to hold the book open. Ah, I guess that makes it kind of difficult to turn the pages. Here. Oh, here's where something creepy's gonna happen. I knew it. This scene's gonna creep me out. Whatever's gonna happen. Doesn't she put my her hand on my thigh during this scene? I wonder if, like, she's gonna, like... I'm gonna get, like, inner thoughts from when she grabs my thigh. I wouldn't mind that part. <laughs> Yuri takes her left arm and holds the left side of the book between her thumb and forefinger. Ah! I do the same with my right hand, arm, on the right side of the book. That way I turn the page and Yuri slides it under her thumb after it flips her to her side. But in holding it like this, we're held even closer together than before. It's actually kind of distracting me. Okay, here it comes. Oh! <gasps> Rans, thanks for the follow! Don't scare me! It's as if I can feel the warmth of Yuri's face and she's in the corner of my vision. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Yeah? To turn the page. Ah, oh, sorry. Oh, gosh. <sighs> Give me strength to handle this. Guys. I legit had bad dreams about this the last time I played, by the way. I didn't mention that, really. After that whole crap that went down with the, the suicide and the glitchiness. I, like, legit was having bad dreams of this game and was waking up constantly at night. <laughs> This game is seriously affecting me that bad. Okay. Uh, sorry. Oh, wow. Hello? My stream died. Hello? I just, like, my stream just, like, my stream just died for a second there. Magical Slurpee, thanks for the follow. I'm dropping frames pretty bad tonight. I'm gonna lower the, the bitrate. I don't think that'll work considering it went to frickin'... It went to zero kilobytes, so it was like a dead stream there for a second. Thanks for the follow, Magical Slurpee, Altus Corvus. Thank you guys for the follows. But yeah, no joke. I was waking up at, like, this is what my dreams consisted of. I just realized it's glitchy right here. Is this? Oh, that was because I minimized the game. Okay. My dreams were consisting of me stuck playing this game and me thinking no I can't play this I can't progress I'm not streaming right now and it's freaky and I can't play this while I'm by myself I need the stream to play this and I was like in the dream that I kept having over and over again I was like at that I was like like the freaky portions where it was glitching out and I was progressing it and I'm like thinking no stop I'm not streaming stop oh oh and I kept waking up 
Cause, cause to me, playing scary games is so much easier when you're streaming. I don't know why, cause I have an audience, I guess. I don't freaking know. Jed's gas tank, thanks for the follow. So my dreams were consisting of like that creepiness, and I'd wake up and I'm like, what the frick, Austin? And I go back to sleep, and then I keep dreaming of like, I, I'm like it's stuck at that creepy portion where I have to press spacebar, like at this moment here, and I'm like, don't do it. What am I doing? I'm not streaming yet. I kept thinking that in the dream. <laughs> okay, here comes, here comes, here it comes. Ah, sorry. I think I get a bit distracted for a second. I glanced over at Yuri's face again and our eyes meet. Here it comes. Alright, it's gonna happen. Just, it's okay. I don't know how I'll be able to keep up with her. Ah! That's okay. You know, it's just reading, right? I don't mind being patient if it takes you a bit longer. It's probably the least I can do. Since you've been so patient with me. Yeah, thanks. We continue reading. You're no longer asking me to turn the page. Instead, I just assume that she's finished the page before, so I turn my vision. We can do the first chapter in silence. Even so, turning each page almost feels like an intimate exchange. My thumb gently letting go of each page, letting it flutter over her side as she catches it under her own thumb. Her thigh. Her. Th I mean, her. Her thigh. Her hand's gonna be on my thigh, right? Hey, Yuri. Okay, this is it. I think this is new. Here it comes. This might be a silly thought, but. Oh, never mind. Frozen screen! Thank you very much for reminding me, or telling me that. It did this last time I minimized the game. I think all I did to reset it was this. Yeah, okay. There, we're not frozen anymore. Thank you, Shave, for telling me. Don't worry, the scare didn't happen yet, so I don't have to worry about it. Alright, it's not frozen, right? Oh, wait, it is still frozen. Piss off! Alright, I'll do window capture, I suppose. Wait, it's not capturing it. This isn't good. This is not good. Maybe if I go to windowed mode. And then game capture. Capture specific window. There. There we go. <sighs> really? Right now with this? It plays in windowed mode, but it doesn't play in uh, full screen. Why is it doing this? Wait, there it goes, right? This character kind of reminds me of you, he said. Alright, are we good? Eh? Son, uh... I'm, I'm kind of predicting the scare is about to happen, so here we go. No, no, I don't relate to this character at all. Alright, did it progress? Is it still frozen? Hello? It's still frozen. Are you freaking serious right now? Alright, I'm gonna restart the game. Oh wait, no, it's not frozen. I just need- my, my stream is just terribly behind. Jinjo's licking the crap out of me because I'm sweating like a pig. Alright, the game's good, right? We good. Alright. So apparently Yuri is like the character of the story, which is kind of creepy. Because this story is really freaky. Definitely not. Really? I was just thinking the way she second guesses things she says and all that. Uh, ah! That's what you were talking about. Sorry. I thought you meant something else about her. So this is new. Something else? N never mind. We didn't even get that far yet. So don't know if it is, So don't. I don't know if that, why that came to my head. Jinjo, you're so annoying. Ah ha ha! Yuri, are you feeling all right? Oh, good lord. Eh? Yuri's been a little fidgety ever since we started reading. You can rest if you feel like sick or something. Your breathing is a little... My breathing? Oh, lord, here it comes. Yuri puts her hands on her chest as if to feel her heartbeat. I didn't even notice. Anyway, I'm fine. I just need some water. All right, don't put yourself. Whew. I thought for sure, like, 100% something was going to happen there. I need to not minimize my game, by the way, because it just freaks out when I do that. Yuri stands up and practically rushes out of the classroom. Dude, she's getting way turned on, by the way. That kill plex! Kill plex? Did something happen just now? Eh? I have no idea. Yuri's acting a little strange, I guess. So you don't know anything. Sorry, I can't say that I do. Are you worried about her? Oh, no, not really. I was just making sure that you didn't do anything to her. No, nothing. 
<laughs> Don't worry, I believe you, silly. Silly boy. I'm manipulating. Manipulating all of you right now. Flutron. Thank you for the follow. Yuri just does this sometimes. It's nothing alarming. Alright, if you say so. Anyway, why don't we start with sharing our poems with each other? Eh? Shouldn't we wait for Yuri? Well, she might be a while, so I figured we'd start without her. Whew. Is that okay? Yeah, just asking. I stand up. I make a mental note of where I left off the book, and I slip back into my bag. Hi again, Kilblix. How's the writing going? All right, I guess. I'll take that, as long as it's not going to be bad. I'm happy that you're applying yourself. Maybe soon you'll come up with a master PA, say. <laughs> I wouldn't count on that. You never know. Want to share what you wrote for today? Sure. Here you go. I give my poem to Monica. Dot, dot. All right. Great job, Kilplex. I was going over my head while reading it. It's really metaphoric, Cal. I'm not sure why, but I didn't expect for you to do something, to go for something so deep. I guess I underestimated you. It's easiest for me to keep everyone's expectations low. Now, keep in mind, I was targeting that Suki this time, so. Alex, who, uh, uh, 62, thanks for follow. That way, it always counts when I put some in some, put in some effort. Oh, yuck, yuck, that's not very fair. Well, I guess it worked anyway. You know that Yuri lacks is kind of writing, right? But I was targeting Natsuki! I targeted Natsuki that whole poem. Why did it go for the Yuri one? I'm so confused. I targeted Natsuki, that last poem. Why is it going after Nat Yuri this time? I'm so confused by that. Writing that's full of imagery and symbolism. Sometimes I feel like Yuri mind is just totally detached from reality. I don't mean like I don't mean that like it's a bad thing though. But sometimes I get the impression that she's just totally giving up on people. She spends too much so much time in her own head that it's probably as much more interesting place for her. But that's why she gets so happy when you treat her with a lot of kindness. I don't think she's used to being indulged like that. She must be really starved for social interaction, so don't blame her for coming on a little strongly. Like earlier. I think she gets too stimulated. She ends up withdrawing and looking for alone time. I mean, who doesn't? Suddenly the door opens. Yuri! I'm back. Did I miss anything? Not really. Well, we all started sharing our poems to each other. Eh? Already? Oh, I'm sorry for being late. No need to apologize. We still have plenty of time, so I'm more than glad you took all the time you needed. Alright. Thanks, Monica. I suppose I should go get my poem now. But anyway, you want to read my poem now? I like the way this one turned out. So I hope you do too. Till the... <laughs> Save me the colors they want. Bright, beautiful color. Whoa. Okay, this is new. Flashing, expanding, piercing, red, green, blue, and endless cacophony of meaningless noise. The noise, it won't stop. Violent grating. Sickle, screeching, piercing. Cynic, coison, tangent. Like playing a child board, chalkboard on a turntable. Like playing a knife on a breathing rib cage oh my lord and this pin of minimalist delete her you deleted her she's gone she deleted her oh gosh oh. sorry I know it's kind of abstract kate I'm just trying to um uh well never mind there's no point in explaining He'll find out eventually. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. You're all going to die. All of you. Sometimes you'll find yourself facing a difficult decision. When that happens, don't forget to save your game. It's so obvious at this point now that she's talking to the player. I mean, obvious it was like talking to the player at the time, but like... She's really talking to the player. You never know when, um, a 
kill one of you. Unfortunately, reloading won't save you. What the frick? Is her face screwed up or is it just my eyes? Like, I see her mouth open inside of her mouth. That's weird. Am I seeing that? Like, her mouth's kind of closed, but it also is kind of open as well, like, inside of it. That must just be my screen. That's weird. I'm getting burned in on my brand new monitor. Who am I talking to? Can you hear me? Tell me you can hear me. Anything. <gasps> okay. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. There's those chills again. <laughs>